Okay, so one man, man, one course. The idea being we actually fix the problems that you've been going through for a very long time. Now, this has got so much things to do, so many things to cover. Let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to the business, right? So, depression. Depression is a concept in a way. It's a state of being, same as anxiety. It's a state of being. It's a way you physically feel internally, isn't it? It's something that you feel, your body then reacts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Depression, what's depression? When you really think about it, depression, in and of itself, is literally just hopelessness. It's an idea or a sense that nothing that you can do will fix whatever it is you're worried about, whatever it is you're feeling, whatever it is you need. But the underlying factor is, even if you're feeling nothing anymore, depression comes from that empty space of hopelessness. Okay, but we'll get into how to fix it. Don't worry, I'm not just going to leave you hanging there. We will go into actually how to fix it. What about anxiety? Okay, hit me with anxiety. What's, what's the problem with anxiety? Uncertainty. Isn't that the case? Anxiety is just not knowing, being afraid, being uncertain, anxious of an, of an event, anxious about someone will treat you, anxious of whatever. It, it, it all folds down into this little word of uncertainty. So again, little things can set these things off to trigger the body. We'll go into the science behind it. We'll go into the physicality. But what really is important is that we understand what we're trying to treat first and treat that rather than thinking you feel a certain way, so you are a certain way. That's not the truth of who you are, is it? Let's be honest. That's not who you really are. I don't think so. Not one bit. And so you can say, what about... Bipolar, ADHD, these things. Bipolar, energy. It's an energy dump, pump and dump. You're up, you're down, you're feeling great, the next minute you're feeling awful. Well, why is that? What about ADHD? Focus. You're too focused on stuff, you can't get your attention for long, you're focused on something else, your brain goes 500 miles an hour. Again, what's causing that? There must be something. There must be something that makes you highly alert it's interesting there must be a way to figure out how we can focus that energy there's people who said the kids have got adhd when the same kids will play minecraft for seven hours in a row that for me isn't adhd it's dopamine addiction and it's a level of alertness they don't care about whatever someone's trying to teach them in school Anyway, that's enough. What, what time are we on? Three minutes. I'm going to do these in five minute clips. Why? Well, maybe you've got ADHD. <laughs> maybe you can't love it. Maybe you're not feeling it. But you have to understand that there is foundational levels of these things and there are ways to treat them without medication and without really needing to go to anyone else. We'll, get, we'll guide you through bit by bit of what really works and that's what this is all about. What really works. And guess what? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to try some stuff you're gonna have to try some stuff you've tried before you're gonna have to try some stuff that's so obvious it can't be the thing you're gonna try some stuff that feels a bit silly ah. but <laughs> at the end of the day what we're trying to do here is put things right in order and I guess that's it isn't it you have spent so much of your life in disorder no map no understanding of what's important to you. No fulfillment. That you've now led yourself somewhere where you're lost. I'm lost. Feel lost. And you just need that guiding guide <laughs> to map out of there. Well, ladies and gents, for once, uh, we've got the map. Watch the rest of this, bit by bit, in your own time, in the safety of your own home, when no one else is listening. It could be our little game. And let's, uh, let's change some things. I'll see you on the other side. Peace.